want to share a prophetic message um this is something that has been on my heart actually so i'm not just getting this message i had received it and um i was just praying on it and i feel learned to share with you today there is something that is about to come forward i feel something mega about to be released something big about to happen I, I i can sense that i can sense that so strong and there have been signs also these past days that have confirmed this word to me that surely there's something big that is around the corner and also this month is a very very special month and it's very loaded for everyone who has been able to see and perceive you will know that this month is loaded and that there is something about this month there is something that is about to happen and it's big it is not small a lot of us have been sensing this a lot of us have been feeling this recently and i want you to go back to god in prayers pray on this let him help you let him speak to you let him also confirm this word to you if you're just getting it for your first time let god confirm it to you if this is for you as well hallelujah now when something is about to happen in our lives something big something tangible something mega something huge we always find signs from the lord we always see things that show us that truly there's something right around the corner it could be a breakthrough it could be a release it could be a miracle it could be an open door there will be signs from the father to reveal to us that it is about to happen and one of such signs has to do with the urge you know, the desire to pray, to be in his presence because you feel like you are pregnant. You feel like there is something in you and you need to release it. You feel like there is something inside that needs to comfort. And so the pressure becomes greater. The pressure becomes more because you are actually loaded. You are pregnant. The Holy Spirit is about to birth something powerful. He's about to birth something amazing. And so that desire to pray, that desire to be in his presence it is there there is a time of consecration you find yourself in you are fasting you are sacrificing you are praying and you are expectant you just know that something is going to comfort you are expectant that is how it is when there is about to be a release and the next thing that happens also has to do with attacks it's like all hell breaks loose when something big is about to happen because the enemy knows it he can sense it. He sees that light. He sees it. Some of us, when an angel is released to us, he sees the angel. When your good news is released to you, he sees that angel carrying that good news, bearing that good news. And so he's mad. He comes against it. He tries to fight it. And he may not be able to fight in the spirit. He may not be able to completely stop that angel or stop what God wants to do. And so he's going to come to you because you can stop it. But by the grace of God, I see us not stopping it in Jesus' name. And I see us welcoming what God is about to do in our lives. So he will come attacking you with discouragement. He will come attacking you with so much. There will be burden, unusual burden that is not of God in you. And you're going to find yourself being angry, being bitter and all of that. He just wants you to miss what is coming. He wants you to miss what is about to be released to you. You have to be sensitive in that time. You have to be sensitive in that moment. Not to manifest anger. Not to manifest those things. So there's this unusual warfare that accompanies something big. The devil is the one who announces to you that you are about to enter your breakthrough. You're about to receive a miracle. The door has been opened. The devil is the one who announces that to you. He's the one who tells you that there is a blessing on the way, that an opportunity is coming for you, that good news is coming for you, that a promotion is coming for you. He's the one who announces that to you by bringing in such attacks in your life. Things will begin to happen that will get you so frustrated, so mad. Don't give in to those things. When you find that happening, just go down on your knees and say, Lord, help me. 
Lord, help me in this time. May I not release words that will speak against me. May I not take actions that will work against me. Lord, give me the wisdom I need in this season to stand and to overcome. Hallelujah, people of God. You must go back to God and ask him to grace you. Don't complain. It's going to be tempting, very, very tempting, but don't complain. Rather, just thank him and say, Lord, help me. Thank you, Lord. And I receive your help today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, these are things that we do that will provoke heaven to move powerfully in our lives, to move mightily in our lives. Whatever it is that is going on here on earth, heaven is watching. What is happening to you, heaven is watching. The test you are being faced with right now, heaven is watching. They want to see what you will do with that situation. They want to see what you will do with that condition. They want to see how you will act. God wants to beat his chest and say, this is my son, this is my daughter he wants you to be victorious over it he may test you but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you it is because he wants to promote you it is because he wants to take you to the other side hallelujah the same came to job job was faced with a test from the lord but it brought forth a greater lifting in his life a lot of people who have been tested by god the next thing that came to them was their promotion was their lifting so don't allow the devil to cause you not to overcome there are people around you who will tempt you let me be real with you there are people around you who will tempt you especially in your moments of trials the bible says the wife of job someone very dear to him precious to him close to him spoke to him and said curse god and die curse him and die but we thank god he didn't do that it was the brothers of joseph who sold him his own brothers and also in the life of David it was his brother who almost spoke him out of his victory you know he was like do you think you'll be able to face this Goliath as big as, as he is the people will always be close to you not very far they will be close to you now sometimes they will even tell you things out of love Peter thought he was saying something that will come as a blessing to Jesus he thought he was trying to overcome what was going to happen but jesus said i rebuke you satan he could he could tell that it wasn't peter but satan at that point people around you some will say some things not knowing that those things are tempting to you and so we must be discerning we must know how to react we must know how to behave you must know who to rebuke in those times in those seasons in those situations you will never be faced with the devil physically he will not come to you as a mighty giant in the physical and talk to you and challenge you he will only pass through things Things around you he will try to influence things around you to work against you try to manipulate things that consent you to work against you that is how he moves that is how he works so we must be careful and the bigger your challenges the bigger your trial the bigger your breakthrough the bigger your testimony the greater the blessing that is the more reason we must hold on to him hallelujah there is something mega there is something that is about to be released there is something that is about to happen and it's just around the corner and i pray that i will not miss it in jesus name that this that have been spoken will not just be mere words but they will come in and they will be impactful in our lives to keep us going to help us to become discerning and to help us to overcome every tactics of the devil in our kairos times in our kairos moments in jesus name or right when those moments are about to show up may we overcome those tactics in jesus mighty name and may god go before us go ahead of us to lead and guide us and to show us the way in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. The Lord richly bless you. Just wanted to come on here and release this word. God bless you. May he keep you. May he protect you. May he preserve you. Let his face keep shining upon you. In Jesus name. Amen. Love you family. Please if this video was a blessing go on and share it also. Share with a friend. Share with a loved one. Share with a family. God bless you as you do that in Jesus name. Subscribe if you are new as well. You're welcome to join the family. Don't forget to like it give this video a thumbs up love you stay blessed stay encouraged and i hope to see you again in another one by his special grace